want to join my gang. I wasn't going to say anything. But, like, I got this gang called Grove Street. And, like, I was just wondering. I don't know if you guys want to join it up, you know? Maybe join my gang a little bit, you know? I don't know. We just be a bunch of friends doing some hood rat stuff, you know? Robbing places and stuff. Side, maybe? I don't know, what do, you, what do you guys think? You can join. Got my headphones on, I can hear that banger. Taylor Harden. Got Mo. It's a breezy though. Higgins. Oh. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's keep this train going, T A. Oh, oh. It's a breeze. Never get sick of this song. Never get sick of this sound, sound, sound. It's a bop. Yeah, yeah, it says it's undisputably a bop. Bop, 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 bop. You're making rice and boiling. All right, guys, you ready to go? I bet you're just... Rip Roaring, Rick Roaring, Rick Astley. Ready to go. But I bet you guys. Would I be right in that assumption? Here we go. Popping off, popping off, popping off. Ha! Okay, fingers crossed that we don't get the first game open crash. Sherpa. 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 Honestly, I don't think it's happened since day one because I've like, you know, figured out my process. My process with this game. I already think we're good. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Nailed it. It's going to go. Now you want an orange. Look, it's me, Torinto. Oh, no. I have to minimize it. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. I forgot something. Oh, I see. Yes! Yo, thank you, Fat Mo! Okay, let's see where we're at, guys. How far are we? How you doing on Monday, everybody? There we are. Right where we left off, you guys. Uh, we finished the driving school. Oh, I see what's going on. Uh-oh. Hold up. Dude, did I, like, open the game at the wrong... Hold up, hold up, hold up. I have a theory about what happened here. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. I, I jinxed it. Is that as big as it gets? 
I guess that is. No, 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 I think we got it. Hold on. Is it still doing it? It's bizarre. Hold up. Dude, I think I know why it's doing it, but I don't know. It hasn't done it before. Hold on. It's not turning to... No, you don't understand. Hold on. I'm having an issue. Hold on. You see, we're good there. Hold on. Twenty-five, sixty, fourteen, forty. Twenty-five, sixty, fourteen, forty. Twenty-five, sixty, fourteen, forty. Hold on. I'm not gonna lie, that's a that's a little weird. A little weird. Try one more time. Damn, maybe I have been opening it on this. I think I just figured it out. Hold on. I think I figured it out. Watch. Yep, we got it. Dude, I was opening it up at the wrong resolution. Like, on my monitor versus the, the, the OBS. We got it. Sherpa, you genius. You got it. Dude, you right. I wasn't going to say anything, but yeah, you right. I just cracked this code like a goddamn hacker. You know what else I did yesterday? I beat all the driving missions, Torinto. You know what else I did today? Magster. Magster, do you know what else I did yesterday? I beat all the electronic guy missions. Do you know what else I, I did yesterday, guys? Steven, you know what else I did yesterday? Bro, fixed it too fast. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't even broken. I just clicked the wrong button. <laughs> So yeah, you know, I fixed it real fast. Thank you, Torinto. Thank you. Now, the question remains. Are you guys ready to go? You ready to go? You notice how he turns it sideways? It's a kill shot, baby. It's a gangsta kill shot when you turn it sideways like that. Oh, you know he's going to die when it's sideways. You know? Look at that. Sideways, dude. You got to hold it sideways. Got to hold it sideways. You don't have the patience to do all the driving missions, Faith, that is. I mean, how long did it take us yesterday, guys? It took me like... 15, 20 minutes? It wasn't that bad. They were pretty quick. There's only like... 7 of them or something. But now let's see where we're gonna go. We did a lot yesterday. I guess we could still do, uh... This, this one here. W. W marks the spot, you guys. I'm coming in hot. Let's go. I'm coming in hot. Let's go. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Just so you guys know, we're probably about halfway. After today, we're going to be more than halfway. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Look where you going. Man, get out the way. Me the four. As I am to share the right way to play. With you. 
This is my friend Woozy. Lure these lizards out into the baking sun. The Danang boys are watching this apartment. As soon as we leave, they will attempt an assassination. Hey, what's the big deal? Won't you cruise on out of here? Lead them to a place quiet and cap they flat asses. <laughs> oh Go yeah. Fit. None taken. <laughs> Let's we do find it. You funny. Look, long as they think Mr. Farley here is in the back, they'll follow me wherever. Neo is After back. A while, you can come out safely. Simple. <laughs> you didn't like my car? Amazing. <laughs> Your success will be rewarded, Mr. Johnson. That's how that man talks. He's stuck in the matrix. Get in the decoy. You guys, watch me do this mission on the first try. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say we're gonna do it on the first try, Magster. Watch this. Don't look away, watch this. Don't you dare look away, watch this. Oh shit. I drove over that guy. You like this car? This is the this is the OJ Simpson, you guys. Look! Wait, aren't we in California? We should recreate the OJ Simpson. Chase. This is it right here, right? It's like a white Bronco. Let's get on the highway. Let's get some cops behind us. Let's do the OJ Simpson. I know we're a little, you know, we're a few days late. Look out, man. This thing actually handles pretty good. Ooh, man, look at those trees, you guys. It's like the redwoods. I want to jump that. I'm not going to do it on the mission, though. Yeah, he's dead. That's what I'm saying. That's why the timing was perfect. We could recreate the OJ Simpson chase. He just died. He probably saw my Sekiro record and had a heart attack right in the spot, keeled over. God rest his soul. No, just kidding. Fuck him. He can burn in hell. Oh, I'm going this way now. Yeah, may he may he burn in hell. Yes. I made it. I made it, you guys. It says no parking, but I'm a gangster. Uh oh. Follow the checkpoints. Oh! Bitch go! Kill you. I'm gonna kill them. I can't shoot behind me, right? Just side to side. I'm going full speed. They can't catch me. If they fit, you must have quit. God damn, there's a lot of them. I gotta lose them! Executive decision. Turning left. Pissing me off, you guys. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That that fucking ass hat. Look at this guy. Is that one of the bikers? I think one of the bikers crashed. Ghost car. I forgot about the ghost cars. 
Oh damn, it's getting windy. I might have to close the window. No, it feels good. As long as it doesn't get too windy. You know what I'm saying? They're still back there, I think. Look. Gotta be in the list of the best PS2 games. Hey. Mr. Johnson, it's Guppy, are you okay? Up there with Parappa the Rapper. Yeah, nothing. They took the bait like morons. Upper echelon. Mr. Ram Lee, get out alright? Yes, Woozy has taken him to safety. Thank you. Cool. Woozy. I'll see you later, man. It's decoy! Back to Chinatown! Decoy! All right, there we go, guys. Easy, easy 8,000 in the bag. Easy 8,000 in the bag. Let's crank it right on back to town here. Uh, let me see what we got now. Dude, we got more woozy. I mean, what is the S again? The S Oh, the S just stays there because it's the driving school, but we already did all that. Pretty sure. I'm going to take this highway all the way back to town. All the way back to town. And you know what? I might as well save right here just to be safe. Grab a dirt bike because I like motorcycles. Can you go back to Los Santos or is there a restriction? No, I can go. I can definitely go. I haven't been in a plane yet, other than a remote control one. But I don't think there's any reason we can't go to Los Santos. The only place I haven't been yet is the desert. And I'm hoping that we go there today. Because you know what I'm honestly in the mood for? I'm in the mood for, uh... Like some desert. Arizona. Area 51. Alien vibe stuff. That's what I'm in the mood for, you guys. How about you? Yeah, I guess I can get there this way. Oh, Vidal, what's up, dude? I break. Break at work now. 16-hour shift. Got to get that dollar bill. Yo, I just guess what I just ordered today. Oh, Vidal. Hold on, Blue Wolf. Hold the news. Blue Wolf, hold the news. I can't wait to know, but hold on. Guess what I just got. Oh, Vidal. Just ordered it. No, it's not a briefcase full of blow-up dolls. No. You goofball. No. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. I might have to keep you uh, chained in the loop. I'll keep you posted. If, it, if something arrives in the mail. I'll keep you chained in. Okay. Hold up. Blue Wolf, what's your news, bro? What are, you, what, the, what are you waiting for, bro? We're waiting for you to say. You're just taking forever, dude. You're taking so long. Oh! Blue Wolf is... Blue Wolf's a little too obsessed with Red Dead. A little bit too... A little too obsessed. A little too obsessed. Wow, I got lucky with that jump. When are people going to wake up and realize that there is no greatest game? You can't have a greatest game. Because different games do different things. So there is no all-time greatest game. You can have like an all-time greatest 10 games. But you can't have an all-time greatest game. Or else you would just have to pick Sekiro. Or Elden Ring. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even believe that. 
But that's what I mean. Like you can't have a you can't have just like one greatest all time game. It's uh you gotta have a list. You gotta have a list of games that achieve the different things. Yeah, nah, don't nah me. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah, dude, nah. Don't nah me, boy. Nah, don't even, don't, boy. Nah. Wayne Cars. It's not where I thought I was. Hold on. Yeah, nah, yeah. Yeah, nah, bro, nah, nah, bro. Nah, dude. If you had open world games, yeah, Red Dead's probably the best. Sup? The cash is leaving Los Santos again. I would say that. Uh, I mean, do I have to do this? Okay, let's, do, let's, let's do one. What does this mean? This is like an ongoing thing where he calls me and he's like, yo, the money's leaving Los Santos. Where are they at? What? Dude, I don't want to do that. No, I'm not doing that. Listen, I'm going to be real, Walter. That's way down there. I'm not going to go do that right now. He can wait. That's fucking way far away. You can say your favorite... Your favorite game of all time. Yo, I was just thinking about... Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. The campaign. Just think about how dope it was. Remember when it's on, like, US soil? It's like the White House and shit? That's crazy, dude. That campaign was awesome. It was a good campaign. I, I have to admit, taken care of. I was right what? a couple months ago. That sounds Ain't about that right. I'm, you, I'm usually right. How are you in the water? What you mean? Can I swim? Yeah. Can you swim well? No, I can't. Shit. Oh, is he playing games? Isn't he blind? Man, damn! How you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I like this duo here. I like this. Oh, dude, Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 are great. I need more practice underwater before I do that mission? What? I've never seen that before. So I have to... What do I just got to level up my swimming? Is that what that is? Fuck okay, it, dude. I'm going to go hang out with Jizzy. You guys need me. I'll be at Jizzy's. I'll be getting my jizz on. I'll be getting my jizz on. Watch this. Bro, this game is sick. Striker, I'm so good, dude. How are you, man? I know you guys saw that sharp turn. Watch me clutch this, too. We can't do the Golden Gate Bridge yet. I'm really bummed about that. Obviously, I'm going to be checking that out when the bridge opens up. Yeah, we need to level up. Fans and Breeze says, yee. She's like a hood rat baller. Gee, you need to level up your underwater skills, homie. You can't breathe in the water where shit. You gotta lay off the stick, brah. That's what she said. Now just listen to me, okay? Her words, not mine. Now it's very important that you listen to me. I ain't no weak child, amigo. What you think? What, what, what you and Mike think? I'm just a pretty face to y'all? Is that y'all game? Not really. You look kind of shitty. Now this here is the dumb muscle that I was talking about. What? Carl T-Bone and in reverse. Suck. And in reverse. Or I like that. Don't mind him. Uh, we go way back. Hey, Holmes, don't be such a beachy liability. Liability? Liability for what? Now there's three of us and I'm getting 20%. What type of math is that? That's fool's math, player. Fool's Dude math. And math. I sell my soul to you guys. And that's what it's gonna come down to, huh? Screwing me out of my 13%? You knew the deal. You agreed. Besides, we could have said 5%. And what would and, you and do? What, I know, what, the mitten hands are so I iconic. You, you I was know. bad at talking as you is at mathematics. <laughs> I know. Hey, you wanna make this shit personal, I say? Like iconic, though. Hello? Yeah. What? Man. Damn. It's funny when they have a blunt. Oh, no, you, you got a blunt and they're I like. I invented that trick, baby. Carl, <laughs> come with me. We're going to have to bust us a couple of melons up in here. What do you mean the shit has been ambushed? We can't just go out there, T-Bone. Which one looks like me?
<laughs> the guy in the white? The Mexican guy? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. A couple months ago, uh, you were glad Ubisoft was making that Star Wars game, and I said, I don't think it's going to be good. I probably said worse than that. I probably said it looks like shit. And guess what? It looks like shit. Uh, so you agree now. I'm glad. Well, I mean, actually, I'm not glad. I'm sad. I wish that they did do good. Well, Ovidal, oh, remind me when we started, bro. But anyway, yeah, uh, I wish it was good. But no, I saw that trailer too. It looks like shit. I got no reason to play that game. But speaking of Ubisoft, I want to play the Assassin's Creed Pyramid game. I want to play Assassin's Creed Pyramids. Whatever it's called. Assassin's Creed Pyramid Scheme. Pyramid Scheme the game. That's what I want to play, you guys. Oh my god, I had a great idea for a game. I thought about it more. Do you guys want to hear my idea? I'm going to pitch my idea for my indie game for you guys. Okay? And then we just need to get it in front of an indie dev. Like, we got to wait for, like, uh... I don't know, like, uh... Somebody we know that makes games. Like, very, like, uh, you know... We'll get him. That one, we got, we got a homie in here that makes games. But anyway, I'm going to pitch my idea for you, Mutt. Do you want to hear this? Yeah, I mean, it's got to be indie. No, it's not Bennett Foddy. No, I, there's at least like one or two people on here that I'm friends with that have legit games. Like, you can get on Steam. But anyway... Here's my idea. Here's my idea, Mutt. It's gonna be good, dude. It's gonna be great. By the way, Mutt, aren't we like chilling out right where you're living right now, pretty much? You're chilling out here in Cali? No, it's better than Gangster Simulator. I'm telling you, I feel like you guys are gonna hate on it, but it's better than you're gonna act like it is. I'm serious. Hold on, I gotta do this first. When you're close to a package, tap L1 to snatch it? What the fuck? Chase down the bikers. It's Road Rash. Do I kill them? Hey, I'm trying to earn a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even that sure if it sounds inappropriate. <laughs> this doesn't sound good. Oh, bitch! Did I get it? I got it. I got it. I don't gotta kill him. He can live. He can live. Okay, here's my idea. You ready? Here's my idea. You ready? Art narks the game. I said this yesterday briefly, but then I thought about it. And listen to how good it could be. You know those indie games that just like work on physics? Like the, phys like the physics engine makes it fun, right? Picture pushing like it's a shopping cart, putting your shopping cart away game, okay? But you know how like when you get a bunch of shopping carts and it's like a huge long shopping cart snake and it's like hard to control with the physics and it's like weaving around everywhere. Might be a windy day, right? You've got people not putting their carts away so you gotta yell at them and tell them to put their carts away and shit. You get in arguments with Karen. Like Karen might be the boss. Karen might be the first boss. And she's like, well, I always put my cart away, but you know, today I have I have somewhere to be. And then yeah, cart narcs the game, bro. Think about that. And then so I got curious. And then I got curious and I was like, man, like even beyond just the memes, that could be kind of funny, okay? And then I looked and there's not a single game about putting your carts back in the parking lots. And you can have different levels, right? Like Target is like the easy level, right? But then you wind up at like Walmart, which is like harder, you know? Maybe like the dollar store gets even worse, you know what I'm saying? Come on, you guys. You know it's good. Let me know. Come on, you guys can. You guys can tell me the straight dope. What do you think? Are you guys like? Are you guys gonna invest or not? Are you guys gonna invest or not? I need to know. Give me that. Bitch, get out of my face. Genius. See, there you go. And I'm talking like 4.99, cheap indie game. But it's got some fun little physics, you know, picture like isometric view. I got it all mapped out in my head, you guys. Isometric view, right? Almost like tunic style kind of camera, right? Little simple graphics. But you could get like 30 carts deep, man. You got like a 30 cart snake. 
It's hard to control. Uh-oh, uh-oh, one got away. It hit a car. Who's paying for that? It's coming out of your budget. You know what I'm saying? It'd be awesome, dude. Someone pulls a gun on you because they're mad. Oh, it's a big thing. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Is like, it's not a big thing. That's kind of what makes it funny. Is it's like not a big thing, but it's something we all know about. I'm telling you, it'd be great. At least I got some of y'all's support, okay? So, anytime we get the devs on here, we're gonna let them know, okay, guys? Let them know. Ah. Oh, shit! Oh. Oh, fuck! Back up! Will the indie game have half and half in it? I don't know. This ain't that kind of game. I was trying to go with the more, you know, appropriate game because my last game idea, Stop Resisting, was a little bit of a sensitive topic. You know, this one I feel like would please everybody. Who doesn't like seeing shopping carts get put away, you guys? Like, you must be stupid if you don't. You might be stupid if you don't, you know? Whoa! Whoa! It's fun to jump these, man. Woo! The idea for stop resisting is good, but I understand there could be some difficulties with it. You know, and and cart narks, whatever you want to call it, is pretty just easy. You know, come on, everybody gets it. Big ass snake, you gotta make it around. Oh, you get upgrades. Did I did I forget to tell you guys? Listen, if you haven't been convinced yet, listen. You get, no, but I was just, when I told someone about this game earlier, they said that, Walter. They're like, you should get money back when you put cards away. They do that in some like airports. So anyway, you get upgrades. So maybe after a couple upgrades, you get one of those machines. You know, like they'll have that like uh, automated machine. They hit the button and it pushes the longer carts. Come on, it's so good. And it could be a game, the overall mechanics could work like something like, uh, T-Bone, pump your brakes, baby. One of those indie games Take like, uh, what's that cooking one? What's that cooking fall, game? Hey, Where it's like frantic and you gotta keep up and there's more and more cards and you gotta keep up. I'm, dude, I'm selling it to myself the more I even think about it. Now he's a real hero out there. Sad. See, we still good. What are you, Vato, stupid? Dude, we gotta so do that in the U.S. with the money. We need to go back and rethink. I think they was just trying they luck. Overcooked, exactly. Mike. Picture overcooked. I've been trying to contact but you. But partners. What? Oh, man. Who are you? Okay. Just keep talking. Hey, Holmes, Mike's in trouble. Let's bounce. What trouble? Who was Mike? Man, they taking the yay shipment and the van. And Mike's oh. still in the back. Well, what are we going to do? That's the guy that looks like me? We going no way He's in. got his phone. He's going to talk to us till his battery runs out. Come on, we got to bounce. All right, let's jet. Let's jet. This guy's right out of Vice City, dude. Got to make this quick. Mike thick, doesn't got much time on Vance his battery. looking at. Oh, get inside that car. Okay. Everyone's always making me drive. He says he can hear seagulls. Mike can hear gulls. Seagulls? Shit, that could be- <laughs> He said he can hear seagulls. Mike can hear gulls. Anywhere in this town. He can hear heavy machinery. Seagulls and heavy machinery? Exactly. What That's what I'm saying, Ovidal. So you make it fun and simple and addicting. I'm picturing the- Okay, hear me out. I'm picturing the graphical style of that untitled goose game. So like really simple, clean, whatever you call that graphic style of untitled goose game. But in- isometric kind of zoomed out isometric view kind of top down and it's got this addicting gameplay loop kind of like overcooked where you're trying to keep up and there's more carts that people aren't putting away and you got to put them away like tell me that's not good we got to get someone up on this building site or landfill or something there's a building site in Georgia. we got to get someone up on this I know, see? I, I knew at first you guys were going to think I was being funny, which, like, it's kind of funny. That's part of it. But I'm being dead serious. Hey, just hang in there, Mike. Help is on the way. I'm going to put us on the map, you guys. So now you know. If you ever see a game like that now, after I said this, they took it from me. Because I looked. 
I looked for shopping cart games. There's none. None that I found. I'm not going to go straight to the airport. I'm going to go straight to this dot, bro. This ain't no... This ain't your mama's speed run, grimy goblin. What do you think this is? Man, get out the way. He says he can hear a truck reversing. He says it's busy like a freight depot or something. Freight? Oh, they must be down at the docks. Get to the docks in Easter Basin. Get to the docks! I got it. Oh, oh, damn! That guy went flying. Well, then I can't go that way, can I? Go this way. Hey, we'll be there in a minute, Mike. Go chapter. Go chapter. Yo, go chapter. Go chapter. Yo, go chapter. Go chapter. Yo! Yo, co-chapped! Co-chapped, yo! Bro! I found body armor, dog! Why is he jumping out? Get back in, dude. Co-chapter! Co-chapped! My cell phone battery is running low! Alright, where's he at? He says they stopped, then he heard gunfire! <laughs> he thinks they just shot their way through a security gate. They don't have heavy security at the docks, but they do at the airport's freight depot. To the airport. To the airport. You know what's a better version of this mission? They did something similar to this in 4. Remember when you got to, like, find the guy on the phone or, like, taking off and landing. you're in the park and you have to, like, call that phone. But then look at who answers their phone and is talking and trace it down. That was a cool one. Kind of hey, like worry, this. Mike, we're nearly there. Listen, old Adele. No, it's not going to be pay to win, bro. Being Not being a lazy bones is not pay to win. And I'm not going to pay anybody to make it right now. We'll just keep blowing up on the stream here until someone finally agrees to make our game, okay? There's the gate. And some dead security code. Hey, this is the place. Keep your eyes peeled for that van. Okay, the okay. tag should work now, Holmes. Tag? What the hell is a tag? After that last bit of trouble, Mike hid the transponder in the white. We was gonna follow it to the gang, but something what must the have fuck? fucked up. And now we gotta use it to find the van and rescue Mike. How am I oh, supposed to find works? this? Simple. Closer we get, the stronger the signal. Use the reading? Wait, reading from the signal? Where's the signal? Oh. Hotter, cold, hotter. Warmer, warmer, warmer. Warmer, warmer. Phone is nearly dead. It's got to be under there. Can I go down there? What the fuck is this? Well, how do I get in there? Where's the van? Somebody, where's the van? Am I supposed to be, like, under the ground? Hold on. He's parking on the runway? Oh, shit! There they are! Oh, shit! Light him up! Light him up, Jorge! I'm supposed to kill him, right? Is that- is that true? I think so. Uh oh. I don't fuck around, bitch! Oh. I do fuck around, I guess. Sorry, guys. I asked you guys, I said, am I supposed to kill him? No one said anything. We need a shopping cart simulator every year just to improve in the physics to year real-time shopping carts to improve with more realistic. Alexander just reminded me of my other thing. First of all, Alexander's right. Second of all, I forgot to tell you the other feature. Sometimes you find a shopping cart with a wobbly wheel. Throws off your game. Makes it hard to push. It doesn't go straight. 
that's one of the challenges of like doing the Walmart version other than the Target one. You see what I'm saying? Dif it's it's built in difficulty settings, you guys. You get a wobbly wheel sometimes. I can't believe you guys let me do that. Okay, hold on. We're trying to beat this game, guys. We're not trying to repeat missions. Gum in the tire, right? Sometimes people leave their trash in the shopping cart. Then what are you gonna do? Gotta do something. I thought I was gonna make it. Well, we have to swim anyway, huh? How do I go under? How do I? It's weird to swim. How do I swim down? I feel like it doesn't work very good. Am I doing it wrong? I'm tapping X. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I go under, but then I'm tapping X. It's like the boy won't swim. It's like he barely moves. Well, I know you... Did I seriously die? Alright. What's up, Stephanie? Sorry you had to see that. Did I save my game? I might just eat that death. Like I don't think I'm gonna reload. I don't. I don't remember if I saved or not. You know what's severely missing from this game? And I get that it's Grove Street. It's not the Crips. But like, come on, dude. We're talking like 90s in this area. Like, give me some. Give me the Crip walk. How come no one does the Crip walk when you dance? Come on. That was an easy one. Damn, dude. I'm going to have to get some guns after that fiasco. Which means... What mission was it? Was it a Jizzy mission? Yeah, it was a Jizzy mission. We're by the guns. Right here. Are you trying to end my life? Are you trying to end my life? What the fuck? You going to shoot me with one star, you punk ass... Blue boy? Yeah, you see, look at Alexander's expanding on the formula. But do you see? It's a very simple idea that you could make funny. We'll get the cart narc guy to voice act it. Agent Sebastian. Somebody hit him up. Tell him that Big Sherp has got an idea. Everybody go tell Agent Sebastian we're gonna, we need a game. GTA 4 is great, bro, but how do you not like this? You don't like this, dude? I kind of... Honestly, I'm kind of thrown up, dude. Here's where I land. Here's where I land. I like this environment and vibe and characters better than 4. But I like the gameplay and mechanics of 4 better than this. Which is obvious because this is older. But that's where I'm at, Jada. Best yes, thank God Jada's here. We can up, finally guys. start the stream. Oh my God. We've been waiting. We haven't even done any missions yet. I've just been buying armor and guns waiting for you to get here. And now that you're here, we can do it. Bomb spaghetti, bro. I got 330 rounds in the AK. And I'm going to buy some armor. Wise choice, sir. And at Wise least this time, we'll be able to skip the trip, maybe. And if not, I know to just go straight to the airport. Straight to the airport. Bomb spaghetti, bro. So, like, you give me this game. You give me this game. On the GTA 4 engine. With that level of detail and graphics. And it's my favorite one by far. By far. Shall I say it again, Mutt? By far. Like, I love 4. And I do like Nico and some of the characters. But they just... The characters and the dialogue is definitely... A cut below this game. I can't lie. 
Vice City's great, but it's kind of a one-trick pony. It's just like the Scarface Miami Vice 80s cocaine. That's it. So, like, it's good at that, but it's really over the top and not as good as this. Am I coming in clear for you, Mutt? Do you understand what I'm saying, bro? I still want to go through the car wash with my top down. Yeah, there's a re dude, it's a remake of all of them, bro. That's why we're not playing it. Because we're not a bozo. Okay? We're not bozos. You know what I'm saying? I almost hit that there cop. I just wanted to scare him, dude. Fuck 12. Let's go. I'm going straight to the airport on this one, you guys. Record time, watch this. Gotta make this quick. Mike doesn't got much time on his battery left. Yeah, got, 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 got. He says he can hear seagulls. He said he could hear seagulls. Mike can hear gulls. Let's go. Goals. Mike can hear gulls. Seagulls. Mike can hear gulls. Shit, that could be anywhere in this town. He can hear heavy machinery. Seagulls and heavy machinery? What is that, a building site or landfill or something? There's a building site in Doherty. Dude, the graphics aren't even nicer. Not if you do it like I did it here. This is nicer. This looks better. Dude, what if Alexander like slowly started getting more and more intense and we hey, were like, what the? There, Help is on the way. And we were all like, what the fuck? Like he just starts going like, yeah. And then like the people that like really don't want to put their cards away. Like, you know, you take them in the back room and you start like torturing them, you know? You know, and then like you just like cut their ears off and it's like you're like yelling in their ear that you cut off, you know, like, do you hear me? Will you put your cards away now? Will you listen now? And we're all just like, man, Alexander's like really into this card idea. <laughs> uh, I'm just messing around. Glad you like the idea, though. I hope to see it manifest one day. I'm just out here manifesting, you guys. He says he I'm trying to manifest. Reversing. He says it's busy like a freight depot or something. I'm just trying to manifest. Oh, they must be down at the dock. Get to I the just lost the mission. No, we're good. Don't panic. We're good. <laughs> yeah, just the torture scene. Hey, we'll be there in a minute, Mike. I can't believe you weren't listening to me, Mutt. Oh my God, dude. I said like the most profound thing about GTA 4 in San Andreas. Never has there been something more profound. And now I don't even know what to say. I have a question about this game because there's something else that they should have had in this game. Three is cool, but it's the hardest one because it's like the most dated. Yeah. <laughs> Ovid was like, after yesterday, I went and got me like three half and halves. It was great. Hey, the tag should work now, Holmes. Tag. I just went up to this girl tag? on the street. I asked that for a half and half. Trouble. My kid, the transponder in the white. We was going to follow it to the gang, but something must have fucked up. And now we got to use it to find the van. <laughs> <and> <laughs> yeah, you want money. a battle pass? Oh, how work? Simple. Closer we get, the stronger the <laughs> signal. I told you guys this idea would catch on. Spread the word, you guys. I got it. My cell phone battery's running tell them, tell them that I came up with it. So they don't jank it. And we'll get this guy. Oh, I'm going to get this guy. Wait. Does he move locations? I don't think you can just go straight to the airport, dude. What the hell's going on? Bro, can his van be in different locations? What the hell? It They can move his van around! Shit! There they are! Look out, bitch! Ugh.
I like the battle pass idea. <laughs> oh man, you suck! Okay, now what do I gotta do? We don't want to kill that guy, right? Hit maneuver! Yeah, bitch! The car is the deadliest weapon of all. Light his ass up! Did I beat it? Hey man, come on, hurry up! I'm starting to think I'm pretty damn good at this game. It's about time, T-Bone. Who the fuck is this? Hey, that's one of Jizzy's clowns. Relax, Weddle. You hear that? We gotta torch this van with the coke in it. Hey, Charlie, Weddle, we ain't torching nada. This is a setback, but doing 20 to life is a little more than that. Comprende, amigo? Hey, he right, man. Let's do it and get the hell out of hey, here. Hey, who the Burn fuck asked you, payaso? This ain't a committee. Exactly. I call the shots here. Now shut up and let's go. I just spilled on myself again. I hate when that happens. Oh, fuck! I thought we were under attack. There you go. Big bot of boom skis. Okay. Get the hell out of there, it says. Can I take a plane? I mean, fuck that. Let's take the limo, dude. There's a limo right here, right? Let's ride in style if we're gonna do it. If you're gonna do it, why not do it well? Look. Yeah, I'm in the stretch, boy. Whoops. Favorite fictional couple. You've been obsessed since Rebirth. Dude, Rebirth was so good, by the way. So worth the money, dude. Huge, huge full game. I don't know if I have a favorite fictional couple, though. So many, dude. I'd have to think about that. I could have done a helicopter. Yeah, well, missed opportunity. We gotta get to the pain spray. You can pain spray a helicopter? Oh shit! Hold on, we might still lose. Hold on. I know where I'm trying to go. Yeah, I like the Metal Gear series, but I'm pretty new to the Metal Gear series. So let me fill you in. Why don't you sit down for a second? Why don't you take a seat, Alexander? So just recently on this channel, I have I have started, I've tried Metal Gear for the first time. All right, I'm about to die. Hold on. I did Metal Gear 3 HD collection, the HD collection one, but I did Metal Gear 3. And I did Metal Gear 2. And I absolutely loved them both. And those are the only two that I've done, other than I've done uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance as well, which I also loved. So, we do have a plan on this channel to do more Metal Gear. How long have you been working for Jizzy? I haven't seen you before. But there's one problem. Town last week. And I'll explain. Why is he shooting at the cops? Stop shooting at the cops! Hey, what is this? Man, just answer the fucking question. Look, Jesus. man, chill. I've been to Los Santos with my family, all right? Give me his wallet. What? Lewis, dude, hey, Lewis and Hal, what a great choice. That is an hey, unconventional boy. choice, oh, and it's a great uh, one. All right, I've seen enough here. Good job, hey, Grimy Goblin. Better still be there when I that is a good Shut one, and it's fuck, slept on. If you like three, you would like two. I actually somehow wound up kind of liking two even more. I really think I did, because it just went off the rails in a better way. Three was good. But the graphics didn't age as well with 3 as they did with 2. Because you're out in the jungle, and like, what is it, you know, everything about foliage and environmental swampy foliage nature is hard to age well. So like, the fact that you're out on this like, 
kind of like this like oil rig machine out there in the water in two and it's like factories and stuff that age is better you know you can that still looks good the the jungles in three seemed way more dated even though i did like the game so i think i like two more overall okay, because the story and the weird prophetic nature of it all Man, with the, the spot. We got shit censoring of the internet it was just fucking awesome it was awesome so the Metal Gear 3 remake, the Metal Gear 3 one that's coming out, I am very excited about. I'm very excited about. Stoked about it. And then I also want to do Metal Gear 4, but you can only play that on the PlayStation 4, I think. Or is it 3? Like, I can't just buy... We would have already done Metal Gear 4 if I could just buy it on PC. Because all I have... It's so weird, right? It's like a Sony game. And I have a PlayStation 5. But I can't play Metal Gear 4 right now. Isn't that stupid? This is one of their flagship titles. You'd think they would find a way to at least let me play the PlayStation 4 version or 3 version, whatever it is, on the 5. But so I can't. So unless I wind up with a PlayStation 3 or whatever, I think it was 3, I can't play it. So that's dumb. Uh, but I would play four, but then we also want to do five the open world like Middle East one You know, it's on the list What's up Chris You think CJ is the best protagonist well, let's go through it one by one Ovidal, why don't you kick up your feet and relax? Let's go through it one by one you motherfucker Let's go through it one by one basta you ready? I'm going to start with GTA 3, though. I'm not doing the old ones. So GTA 3, Cloud. Cloud. Cloud Strife. Cloud Strife. I, I want to see a crossover where it's Cloud with Cli right, Cloud's hair. Back, Cloud Strife. I'm not doing that. Not right now. I gotta Cloud. Check in Cloud. Some shit. Silent protagonist. Which is something Magster was just talking about the other day, weighing the pros and cons of the silent protagonist. I mean, shout out to Gordon Freeman, one of the greatest silent protagonists of all time. You know who else I put in that list? Master Chief. He's not silent. He's got voice lines, but I feel like they're so minimal that he kind of falls into the category of silent protagonists. You know? Anyway, I digress. I digress. So GTA 3. GTA 3. You've got Cloud. There's nothing about him. Iconic because GTA 3 is iconic, but he doesn't talk. He's not really that interesting looking. There's not much about him. He's pretty low on the list. He's pretty low. And then you got Mr. Tommy Versetti, Vice City. Way better than Cloud. Voiced by Ray Liotta, who does a fantastic job. Perfect for the vibe. The whole, you know, Miami Vice, 80s cocaine, Miami. Perfect. As I said earlier, it's kind of a one-trick pony, though. You know, like, it's a quicker game. You're in and out. It's very predictable Miami cocaine stuff. But it's good. Then you get to San Andreas. Once again, I think it's better. CJ is better than everything that's come before. He's more likable. He's more relatable, to me at least. And I think, honestly, I think that goes for every character in this game. I think every character in this game was better than 3 and Vice City. Then we get to 4. Nico Bellic! Now, I actually have a soft spot for Nico. I feel like a lot of people hate on Nico sometimes. And hate on 4 in general. I love it. I think Nico's cool. The only one that's going to give it a run for the money for me is Nico, bro. I, I do like Nico on a similar level as I like CJ. I almost feel like... I almost feel like... I'll, I'll revisit this by the time we're done with this game. But I almost feel like I like all of the characters of San Andreas overall better. But maybe Nico himself better than just CJ himself. But 4 doesn't have nearly as many good supporting characters. They're okay, but they're not as good as this game. They're not as good as this game. 
Scarface is better than Vice City? That's a hot take right there. I haven't played it, but that's a hot take. So then, uh, then you get GTA 5. I have been very vocal about not loving, uh, not loving GTA 5 very much. I, I liked it a lot, lot more when we just played it. In fact, I kind of took back a lot of what I said. But I still feel the same way about the protagonists. Hold on, hold that thought. And I thought of you, friend. Meet T-Bone at the gas station next to the docks in the Easter Basin. Okay. He's waiting for you in a four-door sedan. Oh, four-door sedan? Excuse me, partner. I got a call coming in. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Hey, whatever you say. Bye. Hey, man. But when you get to five, there's so much about five that is better. Hell no. When you need to sit my cara te espera. Nice ink. He was just talking about Japanese schoolgirls. Anyway, um, you've got Michael, Trevor, That's Ma. and Franklin. And I gotta just be honest, I don't like any three of them more than CJ or more than Nico. I just don't. I think Michael's kind of a bitch. He kind of annoys me. Trevor is really interesting and entertaining, but like, I've never thought that he fit as a protagonist because he's just so off the rails that it's hard to like, put myself in Trevor's shoes. He feels like a... He feels like a guy that you would get missions from in a GTA. More than someone I play as. So then you're left with Franklin, who's not bad, but like, he's just kind of bland to me. I don't know. Like, he doesn't hold the... Franklin doesn't hold the torch to anybody in, in this game. You know? So, I, I think the only one that would give CJ a run for the money would be Nico. But overall, this game has just better characters. The best ones in this. Nipsey Hustle would have been tight, dude. That would have been tight. I'm not even going to argue with that. That's kind of what I mean. I don't know if I would say CJ is one-dimensional, but I think the whole cast of characters in this game is what elevates it. They all work great together. And Nico kind of feels like alone. And then a bunch of side people. You know? Man, what the hell are everybody anyway? I don't know. Tell me what, what that the means. Hell? You think you can mess with me? I, I will blow your head off and rape and kill your family, you snake. Uh, Damn. You, you can fucking bullshit me and fuck me over. Uh, I know your uh, fucking uh, game, Essie. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Ah, my throat. Who you working for? Nobody. Look at those gas prices, dude. 134? Turn around and look at me. I'm just trying to make some money. Keep my mouth shut, I swear, man. <laughs> I almost had you, man. I almost fucking had you. <coughs> Watch ya. You gotta be careful in this business, man. You know that. Are you boys done playing around? Yeah, we're straight, Bottle. Oh, good. That's great. Now, we gotta go meet this shipment. We're late as it is. Let's go. You heard what Hef is I want to get to the desert so bad. One of these missions is gonna bring me there. Come on. You prefer female characters? I have no preference. I'm down with a good female character. I'm down with a good male character. You know, I will say about the Stellar Blade thing, when you brought up Nier Automata, it's weird how, like, Stellar Blade is starting all this controversy with, like, the character being too sexy or whatever, when it's, like, everything we've seen out of the Stellar Blade demo and footage... Get out and grab a bike. They haven't even sexualized the shipment her. has to get to the factory. You make sure it does? We make it worth your while. I'm kind of confused about this, actually. We're watching you, kid. See more, Nessie. We're watching. Yeah, whatever. But like, you've got Stellar Blade, who were like, yeah, she's obviously really hot, and she just looks good, but she didn't do anything overtly sexual in the demo or the trailer. Like, she's not like blowing kisses and like you know flirting with everybody. Like, what? What is what? What is sexualized about it? And then you've got games like Nier Automata or even more so Bayonetta. It's like way sexualized. Like Bayonetta is way more sexualized. I mean, there was a move in Bayonetta where she like 
gets on the floor, opens up her legs, and a beam of light like shines out of her hoo- out of her hoo ha. There's nothing more sexualized than Bayonetta. I feel like so like why why is Bayonetta praised for it? You know what I mean? And then a game like Stellar Blade, who like all she does is just look hot, like she's not doing anything. You know what I mean? How does that make any sense? Like, imagine me just, like, going to the grocery store and there's, like, a really hot girl. And I'm just, like, a f- I'm, I'm mad about this. Like, she didn't do anything sexual, but she just, like, looks incredibly hot. And I'm just, like, oh, God damn her. Look at this. <laughs> That's, like, how it feels to me. Because, like, compare it to even Nier Automata. Nier Automata doesn't really do anything that sexual either. But she's in like a French made outfit. You can like see her underwear and stuff. You know what I mean? It's like borderline. It's there, you know, whatever. It's more than Stellar Blade. And then Bayonetta's way more than Stellar Blade. They lean into it. They lean into it hardcore in Bayonetta. And Stellar Blade, she everything we've seen so far, sure, maybe we get the game and then we notice that she does, maybe, but in everything that I played and that I've seen, she didn't do anything like that. She was just looking good. She didn't do anything. What a bunch of idiots. Imagine being mad that girls are hot. How how much of a loser do you have to be? Like, for real, how much? How much of a loser do you have to be to be that person that's, like, mad about, like, hot girls? Come on. Let's just put more hot guys in, too. You know what I'm saying? Naked Leon Kennedy mods. You know how it goes. All right, I'm going to keep going. Pick up the escort bike. Ooh, look at this. Sniper rifle. What do they expect me to do? But no, my thing is this. The whole argument is like, well, why do they make the game? Why do they have to make her look like that? They can make her look like whatever the fuck they want. If they wanted it to be even crazier, if they wanted her to have boobs the size of, like, beach balls flopping around, it's their game. Right? And then... Big sub. Big sub. I I mean, Higgins is definitely spitting some knowledge. I don't want to overlook it. I'm just keeping talking. But, like... They couldn't they can make whatever they want. And then the person over here, they can make their game with a girl that doesn't look like that. And they should be allowed to do that. Everybody should be allowed to do whatever. Like if if somebody like this dev, the jet or the Korean dev, if they want to make a game with like a super you know hot version of this, which we already know now after all of this is leaked out, like that it's based off a real girl anyway. It's like a real model. So it's like it's not even that it's not far fetched or anything. But if they want to make it look like that, that's their game and their story, they can do that. If someone over here wants to make a game with some other girl that doesn't look like that, that's fair. If this person over here wants to make this game with a big fat obese ugly guy, that's cool. You can do that. It's art. You do whatever you want. And if you're one of the people that's like mad that Stellar Blade is hot, then you're a loser. You're an absolute loser. Take out the first roadblock before the van gets there. Okay. Back to business, guys. Hold on. I got a rocket launcher. I think that game... I am very excited about Stellar Blade. I'm very excited about it. I think it's going to be great. I think the character is really cool. And you know what I thought was the most condescending thing ever? The article that started this whole argument, if you don't know, I, oh my God, I don't remember. It's probably Kotaku or whatever. But this this article came out and they mostly praised the demo. This is what started this whole thing, I feel like. They mostly praised it. But then in this one little like blippet of it, they said something about how the character design is just like an overly sexualized, like just like a, a doll that someone would make that's never seen an actual woman before. That's what the quote was. So they thought, they even compared it to like things, I think they did, compared it to things like Bayonetta or Nier Automata to where these characters, like even though they're sexy, they're like iconic and unique. 
Whereas Eve from Stellar Blade is so bland and just overly sexualized for no reason. I thought that was such a fucking diss. That was rude as shit. That was rude as shit. And if I was the dev that worked on making that character, I'd be like, yo, fuck you. I'd be like, fuck you. Seriously. I thought she looked cool as shit. I had no, I was, I actually loved it. I thought the character design was dope. Did you guys see me play the demo? Who else like hair clip the weapon was turning into that long ass fucking ponytail hair going everywhere. She looked badass. And the few outfits we got were cool as shit. So that is a bad take. Whoever wrote that is stupid. You're up a one to 10. What'd you give Nier Automata? Oh, dude, I already knew. Uh, Nier Automata is like a 10, bro. I, I can't really go any other way with that one. It's a 10, but it's a, it's a 10 in its own very sure. weird way. You know what I'm saying? It's a 10, but it's a 10 in its own very niche way. So for me, it's a 10 because it's one of the best examples of a creative story using video games as the, the medium. I love it. I don't even think it's perfect, but I think it's a 10. And it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. But I think it's a, it's a phenomenal game. Yep. It's like if you watch like a weird art house movie that's like a 10 because it just it, it resonates with you so much and it you you have a reaction to it so strong but you know that not a lot of not everyone's going to want to watch that artsy movie. You know what I mean? That's like the kind of thing Nier Automata is to me. I love it. That was my second playthrough so I already knew this. I just confirmed it. Oh, there's people up in the window. Hold up. Let me read what you're saying. The jiggle physics might be what is too much. Oh, but but like just now you guys are getting me worked up now for real. Like I'm not even saying you're wrong, but pretend Walter's right. The jiggle physics are what might be too much for people. Breasts move. Like re in real life. I'm not kidding. I don't know if you guys know this. If I go outside and there's like a girl with big boobas and she jumps around, they're going to move. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that games can emulate that. Like, what the fuck are we talking about? Not to mention, yeah, we've got like dead or alive beach volleyball exists. Like what? And actually Higgins makes a great point. She says, Bayonetta wasn't, this is a great point. Higgins, this is a great point. Bayonetta wasn't released already iconic. Exactly. So it's a weird thing to say like, well, Bayonetta is like unique and creative and iconic. She wasn't iconic until she came out and then years went by and she became iconic. And I got a hot take for you right now. I got a hot take for you right now. I like the Stellar Blade design more than Bayonetta. I think Bayonetta is kind of silly. I think Bayonetta is kind of silly. I always I always have. And we just played Bayonetta 1 for my first time because I was hoping to dispel some of this. No, I mean, I like the game, but I thought it was kind of silly. He's kind of silly. It's so over the top, and I, I don't want it to... I, I, that's why people like it, so I don't want to change that. I just came away from it like, I don't know. I don't even find her that cool. I don't. I found Eve way fucking cooler so far. It felt a little bit more grown up, a little bit more grounded and cool. It is what it is. Yeah. Higgins is on point right now. And same with the Tomatol. Like, they, they weren't iconic right away. You know? It happened over time. I don't. I just don't know who these people are. Who are these people? <laughs> like, are these, these people exist? Do these people exist? These are like the people. Got the fuck out of here. Where who like? There's like a party, and they like don't want hot girls to show up or something. They like find a reason to, to not tell them to leave. <laughs> I don't understand. It's it blows my mind. It blows my mind. 
And it will it will always blow my mind. I think it's very likely that Stellar Blades are going to be a million times cooler than Bayonetta. This cop just drives right, right by that missile. He didn't give a fuck. Boom! I'm blowing shit up. It's a pretty easy mission so far. I think it just wanted to introduce me to bigger guns. Oh shit, they're on the roof again. Uh oh, wait, hold up. Dude, the courier's catching up. Damn it! Shit. There's another one. Fuck, dude! I did destroy the- oh my god, there's another one! Fuck, okay, I spoke too soon. Going fast. Hold on, Van, hold on! It's not time! That last one was a risk, but I did it! Why would he drive up that fucking close? Okay, I'm just gonna beat this mission now, guys. Yo, what's up, Kilo? This is- dude, Platinum Games is the main reason I'm excited about trying Astral Chain. <laughs> Kilo. I don't even know, man. We, we, just, we started spiraling about the games being too sexy topic, you know. Pretty dumb. Why, why wouldn't these people just play a different game then, you know? What's the big deal? This does feel like a mission in GTA 3. That's a good point. It's very simple and just kind of messy. All right, I'm going to I'm going to nail this one now. Now that I'm not distracted by the sexies. Partner. Just Let's get it done. On? Well, my business associates, they need a little assistance. And I thought of you, friend. Meet T-Bone at the gas station next to the docks in the Easter Basin. He's waiting for you in a four-door sedan. Come on, Come on. Excuse me. I just need a vehicle. I'm half that. Drama gets them clicks, I guess. But then you also have to be the guy that had that opinion. <laughs> That's pretty... It's pretty lame, so... I guess you do you, buddy. I also kind of think, you know what? I might be going maybe a little too far now. You guys can rein me in if you think so. I don't know if this is exactly what Higgins meant, but I kind of feel like it is almost like borderline sexist because it's like, just because this girl's hot, we're like hating on the game. That feels kind of sexist. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost the same thing as, like, if we were like, this girl is ugly, I'm not gonna play this game. And made a big deal about it. That's kind of the same thing as being like, this girl is too hot, I don't want to play this game. Stellar Blade, dude, Eve. Big boobus anime girl. That's who. Yeah, it started with Tomb Raider, you guys. Blame Tomb Raider. Blame Tomb Raider with her polygonal boobus. She started it all, maybe. Actually, there was probably stuff even before her, but... Okay, I'm gonna do this quick. Yeah, G dude. The, the remaster messed up all the environmental effects and sunlight and all that shit. That's why we're doing it here. It's like the main reason. Love those short shorts! Thanks, Kilo. I'm glad that you see the problem and you identify it. Way to be. 
It's like a Chinese Megan Fox. I think she's Korean, but yes. Korean's not even saying it's a gray. Listen, Higgins isn't even saying it's a gray area like I'm, I am. Higgins is like, nah, it's sexist. I think you could argue that point. It is weird. It's a weird way to be, and it makes you look like a loser. <laughs> That's all it is. That's all it is, you guys. I don't think you'll ever find me on the team supporting people that hate attractive women. I think I'll be on the other team. Oh! Okay, next roadblock. See, I feel like I could have already done this better. I must have just been zoned out with you guys. Look at this. This is way faster. Look. In fact, this reminds me of like one of the missions I got stuck at in GTA 3 because I never finished it when I was young. Fuck you, bitch. You never got the guys up in the window. Yeah, let's just get hot guys and girls in games. Come on. Right, bitch. Do, do Red Dead 3, huh? Arthur Morgan's just butt naked. Everybody can enjoy it. Come on. I don't stand for the bad talk with my staff. Is there still a guy up there? You lost the you live yet? There. Trevor? <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, man, but be careful with that. Okay, hold up. I gotta get to this next one. <laughs> Buckle up, buttercup. Coming in hot, sliding this up your butt. Boom! Yo, bitch, what the fuck? I mean, I guess I would have done that, too, if someone shot an RPG right here. Oh, sh Bro, that cop got caught in the crossfire. It didn't even give me his... Oh, shit! I'm going to lose. Oh, I don't need the bike. Okay, thank God. At first, I thought I needed the bike. Can I even fucking... Jesus Christ! I know you didn't just get in the car! Keep quiet and you won't get beat up. Oh my God, no you guys! Who's alive? God damn this mission! God damn this mission! I can't lie, you guys. This game is not without its frustrations. That's the same spot we failed last time. This game is not without its frustrations. You want another Red Dead playthrough? We're we'll have one for sure. We'll have one. Partner. Jizzy, what's going on? That cop had kids. I don't one know, maybe. Associates, they need a little assistance. And I thought of you. I like how you say do the, the do speed run strat like I know what that is. I don't know. What is it? Cracker believes in me. That's all I needed to hear. Let's go. That's all I needed to hear. Let's do it. You know what's so dumb though? Is like in real life. If we were doing this mission, the guy in the van would know to stay back. You know what I mean? Like the guy in the van would have no incentive to just drive up close while I'm blowing everything up. It's GTA logic. Satchel charges? You're talking about like, do I go put them there before the mission starts or something? Listen, I'm just gonna beat it the old fashioned way, okay? I'm gonna beat it the old fashioned way by plugging in a game shark and doing cheat codes.
I pity you if you think I'm not gonna beat this. I pity you. Get out and grab a ball. Go. Speed run, let's go. Nobody talk about anime boobas. Let me focus. Let me focus. Let me thrive, you guys. I'm in my element, dude. I'm in my zone. I'm in my zone, you guys. I'm in my zone, bro. Let me thrive, okay? I'm on it. I'm on it this time, you guys. Watch. I'm so on it. Okay, let's see here. Shut up! What? Get that asshole back there. Let's go. Gotcha, bitch! Let's go! I'm thriving with it, bro. Let's go. Here's round two right here. Am I supposed to do it in a particular order, maybe? Yeah, bitch. I take that paper. Who's alive? There's still an asshole up in there. This, got huh? him. That's all you got. I think we're doing better this time. We're doing better this time. This is where it gets hard. Okay, that's pretty good. The van hasn't even got here yet. Where you from, dog? Where they shooting from? Whoops, sorry, lady. Oh, this one's not blown up. The final roadblock. Wow, how? Wait, how did I take that long the other time? I, the van's not even here yet, and we're at the final. Ah! But last time we like, the van was already here. I don't know what happened that time. Oh, he ran around the corner. Buster now, huh? Buster. Okay. Make sure the van gets to the destination. There we go. We did it better, you guys. I have improved in my gangster abilities. My bike is going to blow up though. We need a new vehicle probably. Holy shit. In fact, I kind of want one. I don't trust this bike. If I take a bullet, it might be the end. Tell you what, I'm going to take this. Sir, I need this. I, need I know you'll understand. Striker, thank you for the belief and the faith. Now let's go. I thought he was going to hit that woman. All right, sweet. Glad we did it. Okay, we made it. But the cops going to be all over the spot real soon. Get the van out of sight. I'm going to get out of here. I Am I really not going to get the desert today? Grammy Goblin. Oh, shit. Grammy Goblin, how long till I get to the desert? I would love to.
Got it! You can't touch me! I called timeout! I called timeout! You can't touch me! I called timeout! Alright, let's see. I'm just gonna keep the train going, you guys. We saved the game, we're good to go. Do you believe in life after RPGs to the face? No, not life. Tampin. Alright, man, I got it. It's Officer Tingpenny. Nice to see y'all kicking back. Oh. In my I warehouse. Brother sleeping, curled up next to his shower daddy while you lived comfortably on the outside. Fuck you. What y'all want this time? Well, what we want is to get on with our jobs in peace. Without some damn bleeding heart liberal poking you guys ever chew on ice? affairs he won't even understand. The press on the uh? What the hell would you know about it, boy? Whoa, easy there, boy. Eddie. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Boy. Some young journalist out there is trying to get a name for himself. He doesn't know how the streets work. That he's supposed to report what he's supposed to report. Yeah, anyway, we need you to shut him up for us. And that stoolie. Shut him up, too. What's yeah, the best way to level up swimming? Just up swim? On Pulaski. We don't know who's talking, but we know the reporter's meeting him today. Take care of him. Okay. Oh, this is a nice place, Carl. Thank you, Officer Tenpenny. I already have a sniper rifle, but okay. I agree, Samuel L. Jackson was a great fit for this. The reporter at the Cranberry Station, follow him to his meeting place, and then kill them both. You hear that, guys? Kill them both. This train just pulled up, look. Oh, he's, oh, okay. He's on the train. All we gotta do is follow the damn train, I guess. Oh, you can take the train with them? That's cool. I think it's just a, a storm. I don't think it's a hurricane. That'd be like more the other coast. Oh shit! Yeah, all you gotta do is follow the damn train. How hard can it be? I'm following it too, look. I'm doing pretty damn good. Oh, there it goes. Let it get away. Uh oh. Yeah, this is West Coast. You can get some windy, salty, briny air if that does anything for you. You want to get deep in the briny? Do you, Higgins? Now we're out here in the forest. Watch out for Bigfoot. You can derail the train? I don't believe you. I think that's a troll. I, I think you're trolling me. That's what it feels like, at least. It reads like a troll. It reads like a troll! And I'm about to lose all control. Yeah, I bet I'm excited for that GTA 6 to do some big weather stuff. It'll be tight, dude. Deep in the briny, deep cut. Oh shit. The deepest cut. Who the hell is that? 
Is that who I think it is? I think it's gonna be good. Picture the weather in like Red Dead 2. If they do some like uh, hurricane action. Alligators all winding up on your front lawn. Jesus Christ, this would have been the perfect one to take us to the desert. Where are we going? Obve. Well, what's up? <laughs> nice, dude. What's up, man? I'm surprised even you remember that shit. Okay, hold on. Uh, if the reporter suspects he's being tailed, he'll abandon the interview. And my wife, he's oh, she spends too much money. <laughs> my wife, oh, she spends too much money. You think he? I hope he doesn't see me. Look at the spooko meter. What can I add to my collection of fine things? What can I add to my collection of fine things? Careful there. I've got to get myself a new dealer. Oh, I'm gonna light this dude up. Look at that sunlight coming in. You know he sees these colors. Grove Street coming up from the back, dude. Look at this. You gonna do bitch? You gonna do bitch? This was this was in your future, dude. Burr, 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 burr. Burr. Okay, I'm gonna need some wheels, All right? That's probably his taxi. Watch. Not anymore, it's not. I'll be real, I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. I don't know what I expected to happen. You know what was so lame about that? It's times like this that I wish this game had that new shit like GTA 4 and on where I could just like pick out the phone and restart. Cause now I'm way the butt fuck out here. Like, I'm like the furthest possibly away that I could ever be, dude. Oh my god, that's so annoying. There is no fast travel, right? Like, I can't get on the goddamn train, can I? Alright guys, get ready, we're driving across the whole map. Oh, uh, I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. By the time I hit triangle, I was like, maybe I'll get in the car fast enough and then another taxi will come. But then the taxi kept rolling while I got in. And it got close enough to him. I'm saying, man. It was gonna be a speedrun strat until it wasn't. You know? I'm not even mad. Like, it was my fault. But I do wish I could just take out the phone and do restart, you know? It has a little bit of that where it gives you the skip the trip. But sometimes the trip is the destination, you know? The journey is the destination, man. Drive the train back? Yeah, yeah I mean, you might be right, but... You know, I don't have a ticket. Plus, we're already almost there. We're doing good. Ugh. The journey before the destination. Ugh. That's a scenic route, dude. Just look out the window. Try to enjoy yourself. You can't turn the radio on, you know, because the cops. The YouTube cops. Okay, hold up. Which way? Oh, man. Thanks for that. Let me see. Uh, we gotta go oh, left. Oh man, thanks for that. Oh man, thanks for that. Wow, what a good uh, emote you got there for what I just said. That was perfect, dude. What you been drinking? That was perfect, goblin.
I don't think I've ever been here yet. Look, we're going through a tunnel. Woo woo! There we go. Okay, we made it back. I'm gonna just do it again. And then maybe we'll do the swimming one. What's your problem? That's the biggest problem with Rockstar doing the music they always do. They always have really good soundtracks, but it's like not original, so they can't ever, you know. As time goes on, they like lose the licensing rights and all this. It's a big old fucking mess. Big old mess. Oh my god, we did it. Okay. Get on the train. I might get on the train. I might get on the train. Watch. Oh, wait. I have to get the sniper. I wonder if the time starts when I grab the sniper. So maybe I grab the sniper and I try to get on the train. Watch this. I bet it does. The time probably starts when I get on the... Get the sniper. Watch this. Let's get this cab ready to shoot down the hill. Like this. Are you ready? You ready? Yeah, this game does have an option like that, but I mean, there's nothing I'm going to be able to put in that's going to work better, you know what I mean? It's still going to be licensed music. Oh, what? How could you ever get on that train? You could not get on that train, dude. I got down there right away, and that thing was leaving. Whoa! I kind of, I wish I took that bike. Friday, Friday, kicking it with my friends on Friday, chilling out in the front seat, hopping down in the back seat. I gotta choose what seat I'm gonna take. Higgins is laughing at the demise of that motorcyclist. Kind of morbid, you know? A little morbid, don't you think? The missions just get longer and longer, so if you fail them, it gets a little bit more annoying. It is true, you can do custom radio. In fact, I remember even doing it on the original Xbox version of Vice City. When they released like the triple pack, or the, no, it was like a double pack, GTA 3 and Vice City. <laughs> I know, they just slammed into my car, dude. Look at this. This cab is slower than the last one we did. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Enjoy the sounding silence of the tunnel, you guys. Can you hold your breath through the whole tunnel? The sound of silence. Okay. I got a plan. 
Okay, I got a plan, watch. He's walking, right? Let's make sure he's walking. He's not gonna wait for me, is he? I don't know if he started moving yet, you guys. There. He's just slow as all get out. Get up here. We'll take this one. Oh, there's a cop. <laughs> Fuck. Cops everywhere. That cop's not gonna move? What an ass. There he goes, there he goes, hold on. Don't hit me, don't hit me, blonde woman, hold on. Won't somebody do something? Yeah, I'll do something. Sorry about that, now fuck off. I got a star for that, though. Okay, we'll be fine, hold on. We'll be fine, we'll be fine, hold on. Fuck 12, hold on. Don't annoy me again. Hey, I'm walking away from this one time. Ah, that was great, you guys. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. How did you know? How did the game know what I wanted to happen? It's just so random, you know what I mean? Like, it's so random. Like, is there a cop there when you need to get a car, or is there not? No, I'm not done with this game. I'm done with this fucking mission. I wanted to see the goddamn desert. I think this is bullshit, too. You cannot get on this train. Look, watch how fast I'm going. Oh god, maybe you can, but that was like so fast! That was so fast! Okay, somebody tell me a story. Come on, let's go. We'll do it together, you guys. Wheelie record! Wheelie record straight up, guys. Straight up. Watch. Look at that. Oh, you make money on it, huh? You saw Automata instead of Blade's directors hugging? Aww. Ah, that's cool though. That's cool that they're down with each other, you know? Congratulations, Higgins. I, I don't know if you guys know, but I currently hold the longest wheelie record. Kind of a new thing, but I'm proud of it. Just happened.
watch out for the train. Now, I'm going to bring my vehicle with me if I can. That's the better idea. Let's just drive this bike up. Whoa, shit! Oh my god, that was close. I'm about to break this record too, watch. Maybe not. It, does that have one? Yeah, it does. Stoppy. Polo 2 c is 18. I still play this game till now. SPS2 game. I just said earlier, I think this is easily one of the best games on PS2. Just don't get stuck doing this mission three times in a row. That's all I'll say. Yeah, you guys should have held your breath that time, but it's already over. Okay, here I go. Look at I can even bring it up. There you go. This is what I should have done to begin with. Sometimes my brain isn't working. Look at you. What? What? What do you want to do about it? What? 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 What do you want to do about it, huh? Protect and serve, big boy. Go back to work. Get back to work. I'm gonna get, me a happy farm. get back to work. Oh, get back to work, bro. Go save somebody. Do something. Yeah, he's coming. Get out the way. Okay, hold on. Now we got no cops. This is all going according to play. Yeah, he's got mitten hands. He can't flip anyone off. <laughs> Shout out to Nolan. What is that? Shout out to them, though, for sure. Okay, here he goes. I'm going to honk at this girl. Watch. <laughs> Look at the... I, I am surprised that it has any level of jiggle physics, but it does. Get on, lady. Come on, get on. Come on. Come on, you want to come with me? Slow down, loco. Okay. Why is the spooko meter already going up? What the f How far away do I got to be? Here we go, guys. Finally. Spook our meter's real sensitive. I'll take two half and halves. Buy one, get one free. Never like these missions in these games. Any of these games. We gotta, like, stay far back and follow the car. It's so, so annoying. I get it. It feels like it has to be here at least a little bit, but we've just done it so many times. Come on, dude. Now we're back near Grove Street, guys. I'm too far away. Make up your mind, game. Double with a twist and kick it in the side with a pair of steel toe boots. On the rocks. I was so hoping to get to the desert today. I really was. Where's Grimy Goblin? Grimy Goblin, can you get us to the desert? Ah! Goodbye, goblin. Like, imagine spooking him now and failing. That would be miserable, dude. 
No, 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 dude. That's GTA 4. In fact, that's the DLC, George. It's the DLC for GTA 4. Solid gold. Gold phone. Yeah, this feels like an Assassin's Creed tailing mission, kinda. I still want to climb those pyramids, though. Keep your distance. Look at this is the pier, isn't it? That's a different pier, huh? Like this isn't the GTA 5 pier. I don't think. Is it? No. Fuck, dude, I'm like way far. I was like, dude, if that didn't hit him, bullshit. Bullshit. I don't know, the pyramid looks pretty dope. Pyramid looks dope in Assassin's Creed, guys. I'm just saying. I'm going to keep saying it, dude. Pyramid looks dope. All right, we did it. Fuck you, balling bitches. You see how fast I react, dude? I don't even got to think about it. It's second nature. Damn it. Oh, you're saying that they, they even function weird, huh? The trailing missions, like they don't even work good in Assassin's Creed? I thought you were just saying in general, but that makes it even worse. Okay. Uh, well, we've still got the same ones. I got to get back up here. I feel like I should get on that highway down there, probably. How do I do that? Goodbye, Goblin. See you next time. Dude, maybe this is the same pier as GTA 5. I think it is. It is. Yes, it is. This is the same spot in GTA 5. 100%. I want this bike. I want your bike. Your bike is better than my bike. Damn it! Damn it! Bike, bitch. My bike. And you, you, yeah, dude, you know I got that Mac 10. Come on. Especially if the game lets me. Right, I got time for at least maybe one or two more here. I'm gonna take a shortcut through the woods. I made $63 off that, guys. $63 off that. I would love to go to the desert, but I'm not going to do it till the missions take me there. Dude, it's pretty cool, man. Kuda, it's a little bit deeper than you'd expect. I've seen it, where you can customize the cars quite a bit. I'm, I'm way, making my way back on the same path that we came. Look at that 2004 foliage. And in, in some ways it's better because the trees fall down. So hate on it all you want, but the trees actually fall down. Oh, you said dessert. That reminds me, I gotta go get some. I think I'm all out. I'm gonna get some ice cream. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm gonna get some ice cream. If my calculations are correct, this train track will take us right back to the building we need to be.
Bike skill increased. Bike skill increased. There we go, guys. Just did it. I'm gonna jump it. I'm gonna roll up it very slow. And we did it. Okay, uh, well, we still have missions here, so it makes me feel like I should just do it. I know the woozy one we gotta swim for, but why? It feels like that's gonna take more time if we have to do this mission anyway, and this mission's right in front of us. Let's see what it is. Nope, now we're gonna go learn to swim. I'm gonna teach you guys how to swim. You ready? Swimming lessons on me. Watch this. First step, find the ocean. Wait, what did it say? Between what time? 18? I mean, that's like one minute. I'll just do that. Making my way downtown. Desert town. Got this Mac 10. I'm gonna spray. Bup, 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 bup. I took out the AK though. What's up, bro? Where are you going? Look, he's jamming. He's jamming to some music. Look. He, he's just in a good mood because his identical twin is right behind him here. Look. You see? They're brothers. He's jamming too. See? They're probably real close. Boom. Oh. Well, you won't hate these sweeping lessons. You just made my day, homie. You in a gang, no? Are you in a gang? <laughs> what are you gonna do, dude? What are you gonna do? What's up, bro? What you gonna do, old man? Come on. Come and get some, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. What's up? You have a problem or something? You got a problem? You got a problem, huh? Jeff! 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 What's up with you? That's very kind of you. Take his shoes. Take his shoes. All right, guys. Here we go. Ice cold killer. Damn, where I put it? Where the hell did I put it? Shit. No, CJ is good. Okay. Yeah. Woozy left a message to say I gotta go get Jizzy's phone after he made the call. Then I can ambush the meat and take down those baller pushers from Los Santos. Hey, homie, you want me to roll with you? Nah, nah, this is a one-man job. I gotta stay real low-key. I was thinking about welding some shit together and making me a silence. <laughs> <laughs> fucking crazy, Holmes. You gotta get out of this ghetto mentality. Couldn't we just so go buy one? Let me show you. Check this out, Holmes. Here, take mine. Where'd you get that? Same place the, above my pants. The homes. ammunition. This is America. They sell it there. I already had one. Go pay Jizzy a visit at the Pleasure Domes Club. All right, guys, strap in. Jizzy about to get the law. Jizzy's about to get fucked by the long dick of the law. And I'm the law. I am the law. I know, and the, the NPCs in this game say the funniest shit, too. I get high because it give me knowledge. Shit like that. Them white boys got me on crystal meth. <laughs> There's like some really, uh, some good ones that I, I can't forget now. He's the black solid snake. He's the black mamba. Is that what you're trying to say? If it's a pleasure dome, we should probably strap on. <laughs> yeah, not strap in. <laughs> yes. That's a good point. You probably are correct. All right, I'm strapped on. Here I come. 
Yo! I'm here! Sorry, man. Private function. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna use the skylight to get into your club. How about that? Allow me to look around. Want me to whip your ass? I got physical, Ovidel. Well, if I did, who knows? Uh, I didn't even tell you that I got it yet, bro. It's a pretty big assumption to make. But if I did get it, it would probably be the physical copy. Probably. But nobody knows for sure. We might be doing Portal next. Who knows? Nobody knows. Maybe it's Subnautica. Maybe it's life is so weird. Life is strange. Dot com. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows. Am I supposed to come all the way up here? Oh, there we go. Yo, Jizzy, I'm going to rappel down from the ceiling. Oh, he gonna die, bro. Watch this. Ugh, it's gonna make me do it in the fucking limo. Very funny game. That's how it's gonna make this mission hard, is you gotta do it in the limo. Now I'm gonna kill his ass. Watch. I knew I should've shot you in the club, bitch! I knew I should have shot you in the club when I had the chance. Got the jizz on you. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I got cops. Hold, hold hey, on, don't, hey, don't call them now. Need you to meet me at Pier oh, maybe. We gonna take down the loco syndicate. Okay, Holmes, you need some backup? Nah, man, I got it covered.
There. Now, I like when it finishes right there. I'm going to take this bike. There you go. That worked out, huh? What was the point of introducing... I thought that was weird, too. The silenced pistol when you didn't even need it. Not only that, but, like... It... How do I turn this fucking shit off? I can't even turn the siren off. Not only that, but we've already seen... It was weird how CJ acted like he's like, I'm gonna try to make myself a silenced pistol. And then, like, Caesar like, gave us one. And we're like, oh, damn, where'd you get that? Like, we already had one. We've already had one in this game. I don't know why they're acting like it's some big thing. CJ's got the memory of a goldfish. And yeah, it did fell out of place with this mission too, because it's like... I guess we like snuck it in the club and pointed it at him, but then it just went loud, so maybe... I don't know. I don't really know. Somebody please go bowling with Fat Mo. I can't turn the siren off. I'm gonna jump it, guys. I'm gonna jump it. Boom! 75 bucks hard. Dead. Who's this? I guess I hung up on him. I don't I didn't mean to, but I did. Oh wait a minute, that's not what I thought it was. What mission is this? Well, I guess I might be stupid if I go straight to it. Pier hey, 69. Holmes, I'm up here. Go around the back. Go around the back. There's his low low. I didn't go get more health or anything or save it yet. Yo, what's up? Yeah. Out of the way. Around the back. Bro, that's like all the way up fucking up the hill. Hold on. Things is on the up. I can just feel. Around the back. Oh, right here. Hey, yo, Caesar. Hey, man. Nice job getting that phone message. What's up with Jizzy? Dead. So what's the plan? Dead. Dead. T-Bone security got here real early. They got men on the roofs watching over the pier. Hey, okay. Yeah, 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 I see you. That was Woozy's boys. They're in place. Look down by the side entrance. I see him by the banshee. Shit, they heading up to the roof. Shit. Oh, bro, I do all kinds. I do all kinds of stuff. I do a little Gate bit of art stuff. Open. I do a little bit of music stuff. I like going outside and doing stuff, and then I like doing stuff while I do other stuff. Shit, they walk right into it. Ah! One of those triad boys is down. Hey, there's still some on the left, CJ. Nah, I got it, dude. Up. That it? Man, my bussin' was tight. That's a good line. Man, my bussin' was tight. Here comes T-Bone. And here's that snake body. Look at that fool. Hanging out with the ballers like they was lifelong pals. Something ain't right. Where's Torino? Look at the ballers. Ryder, Ballas, Cholos. Chopper inbound! That's gotta be Torino. It's Torinto. You guys, it's Torinto flying in. Oh, what kind shit. of art? You'll see the Mostly the digital stuff. I mean, I guess it depends on how you look at it, right? Smoke grenades. So much for surprise. Videos, on, music, right art, like graphic design stuff, you know. Find and kill T-Bone, so go down. Okay. That hurt me. Oh, I see him. Hold up. Look at they're in a fight amongst themselves. Back up, son. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die on this mission. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I didn't know it was gonna be that aggressive. Yo, can I get pizza right now? Watch this. 
Can I get can I get pizza right now? That'd be pretty tight, right? Yo, I'm in a gunfight. I need a piece of pizza. Yes. Have a nice cheesy day. Yes, it worked. And then you run back out with a piece of pizza and a gun. You gonna walk away from me, puto? Yeah, I am gonna walk away from you. I'm gonna kill everyone. Nobody gets a pass. Who's shooting me? You think I got issue? You floated, bro. I'm the only one with the AK here. Oh, he ble he's leaking! Oh, you gonna go overboard? Oh, oh! <laughs> hey, Rodder, Sherm head asshole. Where you think you going? C can't stop me. Are we gonna Get kill Ryder right now? Don't worry about it. I got this. <laughs> Jump in the water? Oh, here's our swimming lessons. Look, you guys. Nice. This is the first time I think the game has, like, made me go in the water like this. The hell's going on on this island, though? Look, he's swimming like a bitch, too. He's just doing that breaststroke. He doesn't know what else to do. I don't think I need to go to the gym. I'm in pretty good shape, dude. These people just got like a bonfire going. Look. Come on, climb in. Hey, that's my pinky boat. I don't care. I'll pay you back. Kill Ryder. Yeah, we're killing Ryder. Fuck yeah, dude, this is the first piece of the puzzle. You sold us out, Ryder. You fucked us all. You mark ass bitch. Shoot. It's a boat battle, dude. It's battle boats. Come on now, come on, line it up. I hit him a bunch. Ah. Come on, Sherman. Yeah, bitch, what's up? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! Woo! What's up, Caesar? Hey, you okay, Holmes? We've been watching from the pier with binoculars. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, I think. Listen, you guys better clear out. The cops gonna be all over the spot in a minute. Sure thing, see you back at the garage. Nice, that felt like a big one, you guys. That felt like a pretty big one. I might as well swim back at this rate to get my uh, upgrade. Let me see what's left. We've still got another mission. Damn, dude. Like, where are we at? I'm not worried about how many missions are left. I'm just hoping to get to the desert, man. I want to see that. It's got to be coming soon, though.
Yeah, yeah, it's going pretty fast. We're blazing through. We're blazing through pretty quick. Even with some of the repeat missions that we've had to do. That's how you park a boat. So what, like, what do I gotta do for this other? I just gotta swim a bunch? Like, damn. I, I still don't understand how to swim underwater. Like, he doesn't move. Is he supposed to barely move? It just doesn't feel right. Like, look, I can't even go down. Like, at all. I'm dead. Almost dead. I'm gonna do this until it says it upgraded once, and then I'm gonna see if it's enough. I can't figure it out. Muscle went up. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm doing it wrong. I think it just feels like shit. Yeah, it's better than not swimming. Maybe it gets better when we upgrade. Bro, you would not want to go in these jellyfish in real life. Holy shit. Box jellyfish, dude. Gonna sting you up, bro. A turtle! You guys, it's a turtle. I'm surprised it hasn't even upgraded yet. Lung capacity? Stamina, sex appeal. Is it a dolphin? Bro, there's like that much wildlife? There's a dolphin. Hey, turtle. No, I don't know if any of it's going up. Like, is it gonna show? I don't understand. I'm gonna do one more mission and that's it. It's just stamina th that's going up, not swimming. There. Maybe that was enough? I did upgrade it once. We'll test it. We'll test it. Let's go save the game for sure. I know exactly where we are right now in San Francisco, for real. This is actually a famous pier. I think they called it Pier 69 in the game, you know, because Rockstar, but it, well, I don't remember what number it actually is. But this is a very well-known pier right here. And you can come right down here. In fact, last time I was here, last time I was here visiting, I went and I parked like... I parked like on this road. I'm not even kidding. I parked on this road like right here and I walked over here and came over here across the street. I came down here. There's like a, uh, what's that like rock and roll restaurant that used to be kind of big and no one cares anymore. I forgot what it's called, but there's like that restaurant right there. And then there's all these shops right here. You can come down here and there's all these like shops and little fun rides and all this you guys it's great that's where we're at now i'm gonna go test out well no i guess save it let's save it first let's save it first you like toidles
Torino, did you see that you're in the game? There's a guy called Torino. We found you in game, bro. How much did Rockstar pay you to use your likeness? Whoa. Everybody's wondering. Sadly, this game is none of that. Yeah, and uh, you know, admittedly, it would have been a lot to ask. If it was Red Dead 2, they would have added it. But this game's pretty old. And the stuff I'm describing is newer anyway, so maybe it wasn't even there. I mean, something was probably there, though, you know. Shit. It paid the bills, bro. That's great news. I'm glad to hear. Okay. We're going to save the game. And now I'm curious about the woozy mission. I want to see if we can do it or not, just so we know. If we can't, I'll do the other one. But at least we know we can't do woozy yet. I'm feeling woozy. I actually like the woozy Carl Johnson duo. All right, here he is. Hey! They're always playing games. I need something taken care of. What? Hey man, quit trying to distract me. How are you in the water? What you mean? Can I swim? Yeah. Can you swim well? No, I can't. Shit! Man, oh wait. Damn. We got this cutscene anyway. It's the same one. How you do that? <laughs> So, you get a cutscene when you come here to do this, even if you can't do it? Okay. Looks like we're gonna do the other one. We've only got that one and... Wait, are... Is that it? Are we... That's the only one we can do now? I think that's it, you guys. No, the triads. I thought I saw the tri... I thought I saw the triads on the map. No? Now I think that's it. I think we don't have anything else other than Woozy? I don't know. That feels a little weird though, right? I thought I saw something on the map. Thanks, homie. I thought we saw triads on the map. And why would it be saying triads on the map? Maybe it's a time-sensitive one? Because why would it say it on the legend of the map if it's not there? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, it's right here. We do have one. This is the last mission today, you guys. You ready? Made some good progress. We're more than halfway done. I've got some information for you. Hey, Woozy, what's the business? My man found that van you were looking for by the helipad downtown. And Torino? Uh -huh. Yep, he's there. Torino? Apparently he's about to take some merchandise and cut up a helicopter. Torino? He started loading boxes. Something about Torino don't add up. Holler back if you hear something. Okay. He's boarding a helicopter. Get there and stop him. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this... Look, the bike's not there. Sometimes there's a bike there. All right, let's go. Motherfucker, vroom, vroom, bitch. What are you doing? Hey, I didn't say we're almost halfway done. I said we're more than halfway done. I'm going to rage on this mission. Uh-oh. We'll see about that. Fuck you, bitch. How do I get up there? Fuck this guy. Hold on. I see it. I see it. Bitch! 
Oh no. Did I have killed it from far away? Bro, they're hitting me hard. Who the fuck are you, bitch? God damn it! I'm gonna beat that mission. I'm beating this mission before we're done. If you wonder why I do that, it's because you literally can't, like, I can't, like, reload the game. From within the game. I have to quit the game. Unearthly man, yo, what's up, buddy? I have to, I have to quit the game to be able to get back in to load my game. Unless I'm doing it wrong, but I don't think so. So I maybe what I have a question about that mission though. I feel like that might be one of those missions where I could I could blow up that chopper from a distance, or do you think it's like completely invulnerable in, until I start that part? What do you think? Torino's last flight. Hey, Woolsey, what's the business? My man found that van you were looking for by the helipad downtown. And Torino? Yep, he's there. Apparently, he's about to take some merchandise and cut out by helicopter. They've already started loading boxes. Something about Torino don't add up. Holler back if you hear something. Hold it back, bro. Let's go. This is no good for you, you can load the menu where you pop. I do. Look, all, all I have is quit game, which just quits. Look, it's start new game, quit game. That's it. I don't have anything. It's not a big deal. It is a good game. All right, let's see if we can do this. I still feel like I could do what I said. I'm going to try it again without buying guns and armor. But uh, this might be playing with fire here, guys. Hold on. I got an idea, though. But can I do it, though, Alexander? Do you think I could blow it up from here? And then uh, they can't do shit about it, or what? He jumped off. Like, watch. Bull shit, dude. Bull shit. Look at that. You can't hit it, dude. That's so dumb. Come on. That's like anti GTA. Come on, dude. That pisses me off. I hit it twice, dead on. Man, fuck off! Yeah, what you gonna do now? Fuck, dude! I don't want to take any shots. What's the problem with me? I'm so mad. I know it's scripted. Yo, fuck cops! I didn't take any damage. Now, tell me, tell me while I play. Do I, do I start trying to kill it now, or do I wait till it gets somewhere? I guess I don't have a choice, right? It's going pretty fast. Are they shooting at me? Yeah, they are. I wish I could kill them from here. I don't think I can even hit him. No, I need to. What? Oh no. I went the wrong way. Hold on. Come on.
I don't know how it expects me to damage it from here. Am I even hitting them? No, I'm fucking not hitting them. Hold on. What? Did I just get completely robbed? Did you see that? It went through the helicopter, dude. It went through the helicopter. Bitch! What's up? What's up? Easiest mission of my fucking life. Driver 2? No, you know what game I kind of think got too much hate? Is Driver 3. It's not the best. Like, it's not better than these. But I don't think it was that bad. I really don't. There was cool stuff about it. 18k easy, dude. I just wake up, boom, 18k, done. Look at that. Look at that beautiful view, bro. Look at that skyline with those oranges and yellows, man. Look at this. Nah, nah, dude. This is easy, man. I'm the best. Don't worry about me. I got this shit. I got this shit. But now we're gonna save it for the day. I yo, what it be, dude? Save that game. Let's see officially where we're at. There's something like a hundred, a hundred missions total. We are uh, 58 done. So hopefully tomorrow we get to the desert. I hope. I don't know when it's coming. I hope it's coming soon. I'm in the vibe for it today. I'll be in the vibe for it even more tomorrow. So if I'm not mistaken, that's literally it. We've done everything. I am winning, sir. Thank you, Gaming Warrior. Thank you very much. We've done everything other than Woozy. So all we got to do, I guess, is just uh, swim around a bunch. I guess I just got to swim around a bunch until we level up the lung capacity more. And then we go back to Woozy, but that's the only mission we can do. So Woozy's got to be taking us to the desert here, guys. He's got to be. All right? Two, two, three more days for the game, not for the desert. Yeah. Uh, we're probably, this is probably going to be a nine, ten episode game. Probably. Yeah. And I'm not trying to rush it. I'm having a good time. I'm having a fun time. And we know we're going to be switching back to some uh, less open worldy stuff after this. So it's, let's let's absorb it while we can and enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Everybody, have a good night. Kilo, it's so good to see you, everybody. You guys are all the best, every last one of you. Unearthly man, thanks for stopping by, dude. Good to see you. Take it easy, everybody. Adios, good night. Eat some food for me because I'm starving. About to go get some. Goodbye. You know it's love. Sherpa. 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 Bow <laughs> <laughs>